Joining us now on Blitz is head coach of the Lady Leopard softball program, Tony Bowen. Uh, coach, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you coming by. Um, I know uh, we're really excited this year. Yeah, and, and you can tell you're off to a 4-0 start to the season. Uh, I imagine you've got to like the way it's gone so far for the girls. I tell you, it's um, it's really hard coming off of the season last year. You know, I, I, I plan during the off season, and, and you try to think of, you know, how can I get this thing turned around? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I guess there's no way to really get a program turned around unless everybody buys in. Um, this year, the girls have really bought into what we want to do. Yeah. Um, I think they also um, have a little chip on their shoulder um, mm -hmm. from, from last year not being able to go to state. Um, and I kind of, I might have rubbed that in yeah. with them just a little <laughs> bit, you know, uh, being the only team that, that hasn't made it in, in a while. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they've all kind of, taking that personally and uh, they're all you know they're just whatever it takes in the game they're all just giving that extra effort what's it like for you watching the team outscore opponents 32 to 6 because that shows total domination at this point on both sides of the ball well um, I would guess that uh, as any coach would say um, we don't like that word domination yeah <laughs> um, because that puts that uh, that puts that pressure on you that you gotta you've got to do that every game um, what I like about it is that we're doing the small things, um, and I've always preached to the girls that you know as long as you do the small things in the game, the score will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you're, as long as you have a plan, as long as you are not just uh, going into the game, you know, just kind of broad-minded and just. Um, you know, just acting on a whim. As long as you have that plan set and we work hard in practice and we take care of those little things, then, you know, like I said, the score will take care of itself. And, you know, it's just been in our favor this year that we beat teams, you know, just, you know, by more runs than we did last year. Yeah. So um, I'm really happy about that. Um, I think that's going to build our confidence going into the next few games. Um, so, uh, I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen when we face these tougher teams coming up in our lineup. Yeah. And you already did face one fairly tough team in Lumpkin County mm -hmm. uh, and, and won that one. To me, the most impressive game because it was 5-4 mm -hmm. uh, really shows that this team knows how to close it out. Yeah. Um, would you agree that that was a big deal to see how you play in the close games? Yeah, we, put, um, you know, we faced Lumpkin over the summer, and we knew what they had mm -hmm. coming into the regular season game. Um, Lumpkin has a really good pitcher. Mm -hmm. um, she... Uh, she really works um, the batters. You know, she mixes speeds a lot. Um, so Nat you know, Natalie Robinson, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and I mean, what a great, uh, what a great staff they have. You know, they plan and they prepare. So you know, when we saw them over the summer, so we had kind of idea of what they were going to do. Um, so that you know, that just kind of that just kind of made us uh, work a little harder yeah. because you know, I told them, I said, you know, summer is a little different than regular season. Um, you know, teams step it up another level. Um, so, you know, that five to four victory, you know, we did go into we did go into the last inning with a five to one lead. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they they are a very competitive team. They didn't give up. So, you know, yeah. how how are we gonna finish this game and not give up that win? Yeah. Um so what the girls, you know, we talked to we called time in that last inning and I talked to them and I said, you know what? I said, just relax. I said, This is a game. Yeah. This is not life. Y'all are putting too much pressure on yourselves. Yeah. We need to relax, and we just need to get out of this game. You know, just get that last out, and we'll be fine. So um, I think that's going to be a big part in our season is just the girls relaxing, mm -hmm. knowing they have the plan ahead of time, and then not putting that undue pressure on themselves. And for you, a, a different situation than you're used to. Not not terribly different, but only two seniors on this team, and at first it was just going to be one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how much reliance are you putting on those two girls to really – uh, lead by example on this team, not just on the field, but off. Well, I'll tell you, um, only having one senior coming out of last year, I knew I was only going to have one. Um, that was that was a thing that coaches hate. Mm -hmm. um, knowing that you know you need that senior leadership to guide the team when the coach can't be right there mm -hmm. with them all the time. Um, so that was going to put a lot of pressure on her, and I was going to have to have some other girls step up. You know, some of the juniors. 
um, even maybe some of the sophomores that had been playing some. Um, but then, uh, you know, we had the move in. Um, yep. Abby Bailey came in, and what a refresher that's been. Um, she has come in and almost kind of, you know, from where she was coming from when she stepped in and she was so excited about being able to play um, and bringing that excitement to Banks County kind of stepped all the other girls' excitement mm -hmm. up. Yeah. So she was really a catalyst, you know, that started this whole thing. Um, you know, the other girls were excited, but when she came in and she saw how she thought we were going to be, she just, it just like took rubbed off on level. her, on yeah. all the other girls, and she took it to another level. So, you know, those two seniors, um, I rely heavily on my upperclassmen. I rely yeah. heavily on the seniors um, to guide the other girls, um, mm -hmm. to show them how things are done, um, to set those expectations of how the other players, the young players, the freshmen, the sophomore, need to be on the team. You know, mm -hmm. what roles do they take? So, man, what a great, what a great, pair of seniors I have I mean obviously any coach would like to have more because mm -hmm. the more experience you have playing for you the better you're probably going to be but um, I couldn't ask for two better seniors because yeah. both of them have such positive attitudes and uh, um, I, I look forward to what they're going to do and how they're going to lead those young girls because you know we have a we have a bigger class of juniors coming next year yeah and then even a bigger class of sophomores so yeah um, I think if they if they lead in the right way like seniors are supposed to do I think you know the next couple of years are going to be great yeah we'll see the ripple effect yes. of that and I know y'all want to get back to state like you were saying <clears throat> snap the streak last year by not going mm -hmm. uh, but but you know when you also look at it I know you want, you don't want to just get back to state you want to get over that hump of just the first round because I know that's been one thing like an Achilles heel mm -hmm. for Banks County is uh, it's very tough when you get to the state tournament, but you know how how does this team get past the first round when they get to state? You know that was one of our goals. Um, those five years that we made it, you know, I was really happy about continuing the tradition of going to state. But then, you know, after two years and you get put out the first round, um, that was no longer our goal because that's what is expected of us. Yeah. Um, so you have to make new goals. So our you know our goals for the next three years of that five. Um, was to make it to the second round. You know, yeah. we, we're gonna we we got to get past the first round, mm -hmm. so everyone doesn't say that you know it's just a fluke that y'all make it anyway. Um, so our goal was to make it to the second round, and then we didn't go to state at all last year. Yeah. So that's kind of like a wow. You know humbling. what? You know what's yeah. uh, what's going on? Yeah, very humbling. So um, our goal has always been after my first year was to make it past the first round. Mm -hmm. um, our goal this year, I believe we have a, a good enough team and we have, you know, we have a couple of really good pitchers. Um, plus we have some really strong bats and some speed. You know, mm -hmm. we haven't had a lot of that combination yeah. over the last couple of years. Um, so my goal, you know, I, I've told the girls, I said, we, we need to go to Columbus. Yeah. I said, there's no reason that we can't go as long as we stay to the plan. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we uh, prepare ourselves as long as we don't give in and we don't crumble and we don't, uh, you know, fall to the stress of a game, of a tight game, like the Lumpkin County mm -hmm. game the other day. Um, you know, if we can pull out those and we can do the fundamentals, there's no reason why we can't go to the final eight at least. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of tough teams. Um, you know, every region, you know, when you get out, when you get to the state level, you make it past the first couple of rounds, everybody's good. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, you know, how do those good teams keep going back to the final eight? Yep. Or the final four? How do they how do they keep returning? It's because they do all the small things right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's our main goal is, you know, do all the small things right. Um one hundred percent. 100% of the time. Yeah, that's what that's what our motto is this year. You know, the, I've sold it on the girls. They bought in. Um, they're going to give 100%, 100% of the time. And I told them, I said, uh, you know, if we can, if I promise you that we make it to the final four, if we do those things, how many would do it? And they, everybody raises their hand. Yeah. And uh, I said, I can, I can promise you this: if we don't do those things, we won't make it there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they've yep. kind of bought into that. So everything, you know, and even in practice, I've got, and I've hardly ever had this, but even in practice, I've got girls laying out for diving ball, you yep. know, diving for ground balls and diving for fly balls. So, yep. you know, it's, it's, it's getting there. Yep. It's getting there, and I see the excitement. So hopefully we can keep that going. You know, um, uh, a season without a loss, you know, is a special season. Um, I don't have that as a goal, you know, because it's really hard mm -hmm. to go through our season Almost unrealistic. Almost yeah. unrealistic. But 
we have to minimize those losses. You know, yep. we, we try to minimize two or three losses at a time. You know, try to only mm-hmm. minimize them to one loss at a time and then pick it back up the next game without dwelling on a loss. Yep. So, I mean, that's where we're at. Um, you know, the competition is going to be tough. So, I, I really I really hope that our girls just keep playing relaxed and focused. Yeah, it sounds like a great blueprint and recipe mm-hmm. for success, Coach, and really looking forward to the end of the year. Thank you so much again. I appreciate you coming by. I know our girls are very excited, yep. um, and they look forward to anything that you uh, that you have to say because you've been a really blessing to our, our team. So. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Um, and make sure you check out our interview also with four of the Lady Leopards here on Blitz.